Our problems are man-made, so they can be solved by man. No problem of human destiny is beyond human beings. President John F. Kennedy. Hello everyone, I am Jason J. Howe and I am running for Congress because I do believe our problems are man-made and that we can fix them. I'm running as an independent to take responsibility of our economic and certainly our political challenges of 2012. We are way too partisan. I actually want to pass legislation. Pass legislation that balances our budget, balances tax policy, and helps create an environment for jobs in this country and certainly here ensure that we never have to think about a sequester again. Locally, I also want to look at what we did in the USPTO office, US Patent and Trademark Office, spread their telecommuting policy government-wide so we can actually slip from being number one in traffic for once and maybe get down to number two. By way of background, uh, my parents are immigrants. I've been in the area for 25 years now. In fact, this month it's 25 years. I was not born here, I was born in Los Angeles, California, but I got here in eighth grade, and when we did come here to Fairfax County, I went to Robert Frost, and I went to high school W.T. Woodson. Last weekend, I celebrated my 20-year reunion over there in the McLean Hilton, which was great. I worked my way through college, both Northern Virginia Community College and George Mason University. While I was working, I worked in banking. That's where my dad said I should go. And what I learned were the senior citizens that were coming in trying to actually cash checks and deposit checks that they lived off of because of the interest rates they were able to have at the time in the early 90s. I spent a bunch of years in accounting where I learned to actually balance things. And it wasn't easy. It wasn't my pension at first. But I learned to actually balance books and how important that was. And learned attention to detail. And it was a great experience. After that, I became a recruiter for accounting and finance professionals. That was entirely different, but it taught me the great opportunity of actually getting somebody a job. I didn't succeed in any month unless I got at least one person a job. And when I had a really great month, it's because I got a lot of people a job. So I never won unless others did. Last summer, I guess two summers ago now, 2011, I saw the debt crisis happen live on C-SPAN. And it was a signal to me that the partisanship isn't funny anymore. It's not OK. We have to do something. I'm running for Congress with the blessing of my wife, who allowed me to put our lives in front of all of you to take responsibility of those problems, because it is we the people. I do look forward to your questions. Uh, number one, the reason, as I understand it, that no one's getting pink slips in the beginning of November is because the administration has said uh, to the Lockheeds of the world, don't worry, we'll cover any lawsuits that happen because you didn't send those pink slips. And so no one's going to get a pink slip because the Fed is going to backstop it from what I understand. Um, it doesn't erase the issue, it just puts the issue on the back burner, hoping that during the lame duck session things will be figured out. So if we're going to be hoping, then I guess we can all just do that. What we can't do is vote for the same types of folks and hope for a different result. We have a problem with the sequestration because we didn't get a budget done. We didn't get a budget done because of the partisanship. If we keep sending people who have party labels, we will not reduce partisanship. The only true way to reduce partisanship is send someone without a party label. I'm the only one on the ballot for Congress that has no party label. There is no filter between me and you. Obama is going to win re-election. I think Governor Tim Kaine is going to be Senator Tim Kaine. And that will be largely in part to the things that we do here in this community. But after we have that democratically controlled Senate and that very likely Republican controlled House, and we retain our democratic president, what will have changed? How will you impact not just an election, but the direction of our country? I'm giving you an opportunity to do what I've done. I've chosen a path. I've chosen to step outside of my comfort zone and do something not just for ourselves here, but for the country. And all you have to do is slide your finger down about four spaces, identify <laughs> Jason J. Howell, and you will carve your initials into the wall of history right along with me. Vote independent, vote JasonHowell.com, and we can make things better.